kind of happy it's not. So hi, Courtney. It's uh, so good to have you here. Courtney, the AKA Tech Queen 88. I've been wanting to get you on the show for a while. So I'm really happy that we're able to steal some of your time to get you here. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful today. How are you? I'm awesome. Well, we're fantastic and we're pumped to have you here. Well, why don't we just uh, jump into it and tell our listeners uh, who you are and what you do? Okay. Well, my name is Courtney Woods. Um, I go by Tech Queen 88 in the digital world. I am a master promotional graphic designer. Uh, we have offices in Birmingham, Alabama, as well as Atlanta, Georgia. And I spend majority of my mind, I'm sorry, I spend majority of my time helping business owners, entrepreneurs, nonprofits, online mega earners design their business online. And I really enjoy it. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, that's, that's fantastic. And, uh, and congratulations. I mean, you seems to be doing very well, just kind of having um, different spaces. But talk to us a, a little about how did you get to this point from, from a marketing standpoint? Did you always wanted to get involved in the creatives? Uh, talk to us, how did you get here? Okay. Well, um, I've always had a passion for design and I just did not know it um, until I actually, well, I knew I had a passion for it, but I didn't, I hadn't applied it to anything in my life yet um, until I took an internship my senior year of college over at UAB. Shout out to UAB. And um I actually was, they had me moving a lot of things over from the back end of their website to a new platform. So they were switching website platforms. And I just thought it was so neat and so cool how you could just log into the back end of a website and just start dragging stuff and moving stuff. You know, so I was super interested in that aspect of design. Um, so I went ahead and went home and started playing around with different platforms myself. Um, I built my first website for the, a natural product line that I used to have. And then from there, other people were asking me to build their sites. And yeah, it kind of just grew from there. Awesome. That That's awesome. And just so our listeners know, UAB is what? What's UAB? Is that, can you tell us what that the is? The university. It's the University of Alabama at Birmingham. That's where I graduated. Okay, got it, got it. Just so, you know, when I talk about wrestling here, we're just uh, making sure people know that. Um, so, well, that sounds great. And and talk to us a little about, uh, we, we talked earlier offline about a tool that you're excited to talk about because you've mastered, you know, essentially the use of it. Um, so tell us about this, um, tell us about this tool, what it is and um, and how did you get started using it? Okay, well, um, the tool that I wanted to share with you all today is a tool that I use pretty much daily to design different features and elements for business minds and entrepreneurs, small businesses that I work with. And that tool, some of you may know of it, some of you may not, is called Canva, um, spelled C-A-N-V-A. Um, they have the website at canva.com and they also have a app that's very user-friendly. So I absolutely love using this tool because as a graphic designer, um, it's taken the place of pretty much two to three different tools that I used to use before I started using it. So um, like with other programs that graphic designers use like uh, Photoshop, Corel draw different video editing software it's still necessary for us depending on the type of project that we're working on so if we're working on like a detailed logo or we're editing videos that um, require intense editing and things like that we still have to use those programs but for smaller tasks we just can pop them into canva and get social graphics designed get videos trend trimmed up um, from the back to the front we can get um, different flyers and things created, brochures, digital media, signage for television screens, all kind of stuff. So the possibilities are pretty much endless 
So that's one reason why I absolutely love working with this tool. Um, yeah, so it's a lot, lot of different things you can do in there as far as designing promotional materials for your business. Awesome. And and I mean, who who do you, and it sounds, sounds really great. Sounds like an all-in-one sort of creative space uh, for creators. Um, but who, who, who is this tool really for? Like uh, as a, as a small business owner, as an entrepreneur, as someone who is not tech savvy, like, can I go in there and can I, um, use this kind of tool? Like, who do you say it's the, the, the target for Canva? Um, I would say the target for Canva is anybody that needs graphics. So whether those graphics are flyers that you're getting printed out, whether you're a restaurant owner and you have a to-go menu that you need to have the ability to go in and change easily online or be able to send a share link to an employee so they can go in and update the pricing. Um, whatever it is that you do, if you have a social media page that you want to keep updated with graphics on a daily basis, um, it's really easy to go in and you can actually create your post there and also schedule them from the app. Um, and then also on the app and on the desktop version, you can create a variety of, you know, presentations. If you are into marketing and you're having lead magnets or digital products available. I use it all the time to create images for digital products, lead magnets, PDF documents, you name it. So it's pretty much all in one, like you said. That, that's awesome. And, and I know obviously Canva came out around a few years ago. Um, and I was just wondering, how is this different from the alternatives that we have now and probably like different from what you used to use back uh, back then mm -hmm. um it's different because number one it it's easy to use it's online so um you can just pull it up on your desktop on your laptop and like i said before they have an app um it's very user friendly and very easy to learn um they have a huge library of templates. One thing that I absolutely like about it is the image library because I'm always having to search for images that are related to my target audience, the people that, um, that I target and also the products and services that I offer in addition to having to find great images and I'm not just talking about any type of little stock image I'm talking about like really authentic real looking images are the type of images that I look for so um for my clients and people that I train and work with it's much easier to go in there um instead of going to outside sites to find images for your sites pages and graphics so that's the main thing that I like about it um also they have the background remover tool um and with the background remover tool that actually eliminated me having to take an image and remove the background in a separate program and then upload it there so yeah it makes stuff a lot easier on that end from that's, that's pretty cool uh, amazing. Yeah. And, and then, so, so in terms of just wanting to be very practical now on some of the things that um, whether I run a restaurant or I have a medical facility, or I'm just uh, a professional service provider, an attorney or whatever, um, tell me something that we can do with this tool in a very practical sense. I know you alluded to it earlier about the brochures and the flyers, et cetera. But are there any things that you can kind of give us a practical walk through how you would do um, you do something there? Okay, cool. Um, I actually have come up with this new thing. I'm not sure if anybody else is doing this. I feel like I'm the first person to do this, but it's called a visual post planner. And it's something that every business mind needs. Um, we all know how important it is to have an online presence on social media these days. So um, with your online presence, of course, you're not just, you know, throwing random stuff out there and seeing what sticks. You have like an actual design strategy behind it. 
So um, we're making sure that the people whose content that we design for them is visually structured in a way where they can see it and they can easily get to different flyers and things quickly and easily. And this is something that any business can benefit from. Basically, the way that it's set up is we, um, we create the social graphics or the flyers or whatever that is needed inside of Canva. And then we embed them. I wish I could give y'all a visual. I wish I could share my screen and actually show y'all or um, something because I just feel like when you see it, you'll be like, okay, that's what she's explaining. But um, basically you just have it set up where it's a different graphic on each section, it's like different rows and columns and mm -hmm. they can actually see it and they can like click through it to see the different previous versions. So let's just say if you have a business and you're always, let's say for you, Mr. Ricardo Barris, you have your podcast. Mm -hmm. So you have different guests on your podcast. So what we do is we set up a page on your website and we embed the Canva template with all of your podcast flyers. And we have that on one row in one section. And then the next row might be a social graphic or a flyer that has um, a promotional sale or something on there. Let's say you're always putting uh, certain services or products on sale and this is how you all promotional flyers look. So then that would be another embed that's right next to it. And you can click through there and you can actually click on the template and go in and edit it. So like you might have a page with like nine of those different categories. And then your team, it makes it easier on me because I design for a lot of uh, organizations and teams. So if it's just a quick change that they need to go in there and change a date or update a picture or a title um, or something like that, then they just go to that page on their site. They look through the templates. I have the titles up there for them. And then they can click to edit the template and it takes them straight into Canva. And if they just need to change a date or a name, they don't have to bother me with it. And then sometimes I, I might not get to it for a couple of days. They can go ahead and get it done like that. So it's really good for collaboration. It's really good for teams. Um, and that's something that is definitely important for business minds to keep in mind as they grow. Team building. Oh, I like that. I mean, I love that. What's the name of that? What, what did you call that again? It was saying. What's the name of it? My my visual post planner. Your visual post planner. And it, it seems like we should probably talk about that as a tool, because then if you're the creator of this, if you, you said that probably you're the only one who's probably doing this kind of stuff. Um, but I do love the sound of that from a creative standpoint, just just having access to all of your creatives from how you're describing it. That sounds pretty, pretty neat. Um, and we'd love to be able to show um, to show that to uh, to our listeners. So we want to get that URL, like if you have a URL where you can actually show that, we'll definitely put that in the show notes so folks can um, can have a look there and see uh, and see your work. I would definitely want one for us because then I feel like you've mastered the art of just putting that visual post together. Um, and it would be yeah. nice if we could even have that for, uh, for us as well. So yes, I'm excited to see what that is um, whenever you are, uh, whenever you're ready. But listeners who are interested in this tool, because it sounds like Canva is, an, is a tool that you must have in your arsenal um, if you want to grow. And folks who are listening, what should they do if they need to use this tool? Is this a free tool? Is it a paid tool? Like, do you use it partly free? And if you want some things, you have to pay for it. Can you talk a little about that? Uh, definitely. Um, they have a free version and they also have a paid version. With the free version, you can get a lot done, but um, with the paid version, the features that are included are just unmatchable. Um, you know, that's one of the features that I mentioned earlier, the remove background tool. So if you have a picture of yourself and you wanna stick it on the flyer, but you wanna remove the background, you can have it done in seconds. Um, and it's some other features in there too that are really, really neat that you will be able to use as well. Um, I've had the paid version for so long. I'm not really sure what's not included um, in the free version, but I know that that is one of the things and probably um, the 
collaboration with teams. So um, yeah, so I know we talked about this on the previous question, but another thing with the collaboration piece, if I'm designing something and I'm logged into the editor and you're designing something in the same editor, you can sit there and literally like watch me move the stuff around. You can present from inside of there. So yeah, I know I keep going on and on, but yeah, they have a free version and a paid version. No, this is question. great. I mean, this is helpful. I mean, we love hearing about this kind of stuff. Um, because I get excited when we can, un, you know, when we can unveil and talk about tools to help others to grow. Um, and so this is exciting. Um, so you can go to Canva, right? C-A-N-V-A dot com. And then you can start from there, right? So you can go and go to the either sign up for the free version, uh, have a go at it, or you can just dive right into the paid version where you have access to all the different features um, and you can, you can work through from there. Now, I know that um, staying in business for years, uh, Courtney, it's not easy. Um, how, how have you done it? And, and what would you say has been the best thing that happened to you? Um, with me, I, um, I choose to welcome suggestions and be open to feedback. And um, I really try to listen to what people are telling me as far as like feedback and suggestions. And I'll take it and I'll implement the things that I feel like like our best for my business or I'll implement it at the time when I feel like it's best. Um, so definitely being a listening ear, being open to feedback and suggestions, because even your customers and clients will tell you different things if you just listen to what it is that they're saying and um, other business owners. I know even you, Mr. Barris, you've shared some different things with me that I've implemented in my business and um, you know, just being open to things like that is really, really helpful. I was one of those business minds that just, you know, jumped out there prematurely. And I was so passionate about what I was doing. And I was seeing like, um, you know, when live streaming first started coming out on the Periscope app, I was like, okay, I can see myself doing something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my design strategy together and all of that. So I I kind of just jumped out there and learned how to swim, you know, before, <laughs> before I drowned. So that's kind of what I did. I know you, you've been in business for like 20 plus years. So I'm pretty sure, you know, you had your structure lined up from day one, but I'm still learning uh, to this day. And it's, it's been an exciting process. Um, it's ups, it's downs, it's struggles. But one thing about it, if you're determined, if you have a vision and you, um, you're, you want to see that vision come to pass, then you definitely put in the hard work, put in the late night, put in, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, whatever it takes to get where it is that you're trying to go. And also um, just be intentional, you know, being intentional about the things that we do and the actual, like our actual intentions that we have for wanting to see different things, you know, come to pass in our life or in our business is super important. So um, my intentions are to help business minds in the community who need help in this area. And I'm very serious about that. So yeah, definitely being intentional, welcoming feedback and suggestions, you know, you can't go wrong. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, and that's such a beautiful way to, um, to express uh, where you're coming from and essentially how you've uh, really uh, managed over the years. So, so thank you for sharing that with our listeners, because I think it's very, very helpful when, we can hear from others. Um, I too, as much as I've been in business for a while, I've, I feel like every, every time we're scratching the surface. So um, trust me when I tell you that we never got it right uh, when we started the first time. So it's always exciting though, to hear uh, what others think. Is there anything that I didn't ask you uh, tech queen that you would like to share with us today? Um, definitely. If it's any of my business minds that's listening and you're thinking, I need help in this area or my team needs help in this area, check out um, the workshop that I have available. It's called Digital Visuals. 
and we actually have a pretty good amount of Canva tutorials in there and we go over the types of graphics that you're going to need for your sites and pages no matter what type of industry that you're in and it'll be very helpful for you if you are somebody that you know needs help in this area that's awesome and can you repeat that again the name of it and the url so that we can uh we can add it to um to our show notes and our listeners can can go and check it out sure it's digital visuals and you can grab it at techqueen88.biz that's t-e-c-h-q-u-e-e-n the number 88.biz Awesome. So techqueen88.biz, guys, you can go there and then you'll be able to see the the tech. The, this is it called the digital digital. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tongue twisted. It is, it is a tongue twister. Digital visuals. Digital <laughs> visual. You can go and see the digital visual um, and check it out. Um, I've seen a lot of the, the work that uh, Tech Queen has done and it's beautiful stuff. Um, and so you should definitely check them out. Um, I like to ask usually um, uh, questions around stuff that you're reading and, and anywhere that you are in terms of a podcast that you're listening to and so forth. So others can, you know, can follow you who are interested in going on that path. So what books are you reading this uh, at this moment or have you read that you can recommend and possibly what kind of podcast that you actually um, would recommend listening to? Okay. So um, as far as podcasts, I would definitely recommend listening to this podcast with the me group, Mr. Ricardo Beers. He's amazing. Um, He's been in business for a really long time and it's a lot that you can learn from him and the guests that he brings on the show. Also, I would say, well, the book that I'm reading right now is called uh, Passport to Prosperity, and it's by a woman named Tiffany Buckner. It's a little bit more on the spiritual side, the faith for the faith-based business owners and entrepreneurs. So um, it's it's been a really, really good book to read. And if you're a faith-based entrepreneur, then you'll absolutely fit right in with that. You'll love it. That's awesome. So Passport to Prosperity, right? That's the name of the book. Um, so you guys can check it out. And, and of course, thank you for, uh, for that plug on our podcast. We love when uh, people can recommend uh, and talk about our podcast. Um, my last question before we, before we wrap this up is, you know, we, we are always looking for creators and, and master users of tools to help, to help businesses that can grow um, really quickly. Uh, do you have any recommendations of guests that you think should be uh, a part of this show? Because we really want to also connect with those folks um, and talk about some of the things that they use um, from a tool perspective. I do, actually. Um, the lady that helps me with scheduling my social media and uh, does my post copy and hashtags and all of that stuff for me. Uh, her name is Deidre and she has a company called The Task Associates. So on Instagram, she is The Task Associates. Mm -hmm. And also another person I don't know what I would do without uh, is Heather Hennessy. Mm -hmm. She helps me with my email automation because I don't have time to set up all the sequence for all of my different products and stuff um, and she also gets my courses uploaded if videos need to be edited she'll chop them up for me um, and get them uploaded so that my courses and things are ready to be you know sold and delivered and she is heather.s.hennessy on um, Instagram so she's really good at what she does and those are two great people that um you know, they're out here actually doing it that I think will be great for you all. That's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. We'll definitely reach out to uh, to those guys uh, to see if they're interested in coming and chatting with us in the show. Well, Courtney, thank you. I mean, you've been very, very helpful with, with, with Canva. Um, thank you for stopping by. It's not the last time, so we definitely want to check in with you um, later just to hear about the stuff that you're doing. Um, I'm interested in that that sort of um, postal board thing that you talk about. Hopefully that becomes a tool that you can actually um, share with others. So thank you. And we'll definitely uh, stay in touch and we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon. Okay. 
Thank you so much for having me. Bye.